guys, it's Dr. Kelsey at Kelsey Canine Medical Center. It is March 10th, and I just want to address the big elephant in the room these days, uh, and that is coronavirus, and specifically, of course, as a veterinarian, how coronavirus relates to our pets. Um, and this is what we know at this time, okay? Things could change here in the future. But first off, I want to say, you know, coronavirus, there's no evidence that coronavirus uh, can spread to our dogs or cats. Okay, um, it's not there. That's that's not something that we're seeing or being reported on. So it has not spread to dogs and cats. And then secondly, a good news is that dogs and cats are not getting sick with coronavirus. Um, so that's a good thing. So they're not sick. They're not spreading it. Um, if you were, if you as a person were to get coronavirus. Uh, and test positive for it, you basically, just like with people, you want to take the same precautions with your pet. That is to say, you don't need to be um, snuggle up with them, kissing on them, you know, rubbing them and petting them. Basically, you just need to avoid your dog or cat for the time being while you're um, being treated and while you're getting over coronavirus. Um, you just don't want to, you know, again, get exposure to them as well. So, um, I know that there was a dog in Hong Kong that tested a week positive. This is several, this is the end of February, I believe. Uh, and people have asked about that one. And supposedly, the as um, things that I've read, is that that dog was exposed to a, their owner had coronavirus. And just like if you were coughing and sneezing and viral particles were going onto the countertops or onto the floors, well, they were landing on the dog as well and, you know, petting the dog. So the dog didn't actually harbor it internally. The dog literally had viral particles of coronavirus on top of it, on its hair, its, its skin, and that kind of thing. Um, so I, I did want to address that. And then and finally, um, you know, people have asked about, again, is there testing for dogs? And as of um, the last thing I read was in a few, in about a week, um, the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine is supposed to have a, a test available for dogs. Again, this would, um, uh, it's supposed to be available. Um, I have read that. Um, again, we're not necessarily testing in the sense of, because dogs are coming down sick with it, We hit, there's not been a case of that reported. But I did want you to know there is a, there's supposed to be a test available here in the next week or so at the University of Illinois. So as it stands, that's, where, that's, um, that's what we know. Um, they can't spread it, they can't get sick from it. Um, you know, lastly, I'll say people did ask about, we used to vaccinate for coronavirus in the past. Um, it, that was a different strain of coronavirus. Back 20 years ago when I graduated, we vaccinated for coronavirus. Uh, but that really has not been an issue and it's not, that vaccine is not going to be effective against Corona-19 anyways. But, uh, so anyways, that's everything that we know and I appreciate you tuning in. And if you have any comments or questions, please give that to us. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Dr. Kelsey. Thanks for watching that video. If you like what you see, we'd love for you to subscribe and follow us. We're always trying to put out great content on a weekly basis, so continue to subscribe and watch us.